you a typewriter. Uh, sir, yes, sir. May I do anything for you, sir? Do me a favor, kid, and don't talk so much. Yes, sir, Mr. K. And don't call me Mr. K. It's Director Krimsky to you. Got it, kid? Yes, sir, Director Krimsky, sir. Have a seat, kid. Yes, sir. These are our applications to the Freak Show Division. I need you to write a rejection letter to every single one of these idiots. Got it, kid? What do you mean when you say rejection litter, sir? For Pete's sake, kid, just tell him no. Yes, Mr. Director, sir. Now quit bothering me and get to work. Well, I guess I better get started. Leo Ekman, Counselor at Law. This must be really important. Leo Ekman, Counselor at Law, gentlemen. I have been authorized by a client of mine to dispose of an animal having the forepart features of a bull and the hind part features of a horse. <laughs> I can assure you that it would prove extremely amazing and also lucrative for the fair. Will you not be good enough as to advise me as to when an interview could be arranged for? Very truly yours, Leo Ekman. <laughs> What an interesting creature I sure would like to meet this majestic steer I wonder if his mother was a cow or a filly Either way I would never Put a saddle on his rear No I wouldn't Mr. Half Bull Half Horse I would take good care of you I would coxcomb you And I would currycomb you
rejected. I can't reject this perfect creature I've rhymed. Rejected, is there any way to ease the pain? Rejected, such a beast at our fair would be a splendid sight. But rejected, it's pounding in my brain. An informational circular for the 1939 World's Fair. Why, anyone would love to get one of these. Say, what's a fella gotta do to get an envelope around here? Doggone it, kid, what is it? Mr. Director, sir. Let me see that letter, kid. A circular of pertinent information? What is the meaning of this insubordination? You must reject them all. You simply must reject them all. I thought perhaps you did not notice and maybe the fair would like to endorse a beauty with the four-part features of a bull and the hind part of a horse. Every day we get more letters filled with schmucks pawning their pets. I give a tinker's damn You simply must reject them all now scram But sir We have more deserving duties to attend to At the Department of Exhibitions and Concessions Now please stop this attempt To defend a few disgusting deformed freaks Black, I frankly don't appreciate your digressions You must reject them all You simply must reject them all Yes, Director, sir should I rewrite the reply? There's no time for that now. Just do better next time. You simply must reject them all. Guess it's back to the drawing board. E. L. Fincher, Ranburn, Alabama. Teacher of Vok Agar. I wonder what that means. Dear sir, there is a goal. Recently born in this community, which has seven legs. Three of those legs are abnormal, but four are regular goat legs. The goat is normal, except for those extra three legs. It could go on living. Stop that, Henrietta. It could go on living. Seven to seventy years, even though it has seven legs and no finer goat the world's fair's ever seen. This special goat who has seven legs. Very truly yours, E. L. Fincher, teacher of vocational agriculture. Oh, so that's what Vok Agar means. What a shame it falls to me to turn down a seven-legged goat. Oh well, here goes. Dear Professor Fincher, A seven-legged goat is such a marvelous sight. Why, if she were my goat, I would sing to her every night. I'd feed her gooseberries And things goats love to eat Like the funny papers And maybe a soft old sheet How can I respond? Tell them no I can't do it Rejected I can't reject this perfect creature right now Rejected such a goat at the world's fair would be our game Rejected Gotta find a way to get her in somehow But rejected It's pounding in my brain I must speak to Director Krimsky What do you want now, kid? Mr. Director, sir Pardon me, but E.L. Fincher has a seven-legged... Do you know how many people are writing to us about their freak goats, cows, dogs, cats, and cockatoos? 
Why, just yesterday, I had to turn down the world's largest force. That's why we leased the freak show space to those sons at the Foreign Rogers. A scram! I'll think of something to tell E.L. Fincher and that very special goat eventually. I'll come back to it. Mrs. Lila Brent, Brooklyn, New York. I have a three-legged cat. She can jump four feet or five. Meow, meow. Really, Patches, be a lady. Please let me know at the earliest date As I work at an all-night cabaret And I am very hard to locate When it is during the day you, Mrs. Lila Brint. Gee, I wish I could help Mrs. Brint's three-legged cat. A three-legged cat might be surprisingly normal, but still I'd love to meet that sweet feline. I'd spoil my queen rotten and treat her quite formal. Against the two of mine And per her perfect purr I'd give her yarn And brush her silky fur <sighs> How can I respond? Just say no! Why? Doesn't everyone deserve a chance at greatness? Director Krimsky didn't say I couldn't put these people in touch with Dufour and Rogers. Aha! Surely they won't reject a half bull, half horse. Please don't reject the half bull, half horse. They'll see the charm of this seven legged goat. Seven legs. Seven legs, this goat has seven legs. They won't renounce the Queen Kitty herself. I am a three-legged cat. Yarn. Surely they'll see the value in all these wonderful freaks. Save us. Because Save what us. makes them different is what makes Save them us. beautiful. What are you so happy about flagging? Get out of here. Did I not specifically order you to reject this batch of letters outright? I thought they might be interested in the freaks. Look, you can write a proper rejection letter or you can leave. You must reject them all. I'm sorry for the miscommunication. Please accept my resignation. Look, kid, you're not a bad guy. It gets easier with every try. It's nice work for a day's pay. I really hoped I would feel that way. I thought I could do anything to get ahead. I'd rather shine shoes instead. You don't mean that, son. You must reject Save them us. all. No! I must reject the offer of this position. Sorry, Mr. K. Rejected. It's getting out of my brain. Good gravy. No one lasts a day in this job. Save us. Well, I guess I really blew it. Look at me back where I started On this train Grand Central bound Back to little Frankie Shoeshine Boy How can I turn this around? 
isn't this America? Why can't I find my place? What I wouldn't give for a piece of land and a little more space. sure are getting a lot of mail out here on the farm, aren't we, Queen Beatrice? Meow? Francis Flax, Friendly Freak Farm, New Jersey, U.S. of A. Dear Sir, I am writing to thank you sincerely for accepting custody of the animal with the forepart features of a bull and the hindpart features of a horse. Warmest regards, Mr. Leo Ekman, Counselor at Law. Coming from Mr. Leo Ekman, Counselor at Law? That's practically a love letter, isn't it, Elgin? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mr. Flack, thank you for the photograph you sent. I shared it with my students, and they would very much like to visit your farm. Very truly yours, E.L. Fincher, teacher of Vok Agar. Wow! Imagine that! Billy Lee, we might be getting a visit from your Alabama friends. Oh look, Queen Beatrice, it's a letter from your old leaping grounds. Meow, meow. Dear Francis, thank you for the photo of Queen Beatrice, as you call her. <laughs> if you're ever in Brooklyn, you're welcome to come see my act at the All Night Cabaret. <laughs> Best wishes, Miss Lila Brent. You do like your bedtime stories, don't you, Queen Beatrice? Meow, meow. I love having green pastures to roam. 
I love having so much room to prowl. And I love that New Jersey is full of garbage to eat. And I love all of you. If you put your mind to it, you can find your own freak farm. About your freak farm in the paper. Is there any chance you're hiring? Oh. 